Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing great in your life. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you about the list of domains that you can study and where you can study from. So in my last video, I have told you about the domain, the importance of domain, that domain is really, really important if you want to go into the data analytics industry. So I know a lot of people who have been studying data analysis from very long time and yet not able to find a job for themselves. And yeah, this is a scenario of uh, today that uh, as a fresher, we start learning the data analysis, but eventually we will uh, we'll realize that this is not for the someone who is just a fresher. It uh, always prefers someone who has an experience in the industry. So how can we uh, like negotiate with this thing? How can we get the job in data analytics even if we started as a fresher and we have given a lot of time to data analysis. Now the finding of job is completely a different thing in this industry. So yeah, getting a knowledge of domain is going to make you ahead from the peers. So someone who has a knowledge of domain will all be preferred among those who doesn't have knowledge of domain. So how can you learn those domain and what are exactly these domains? So every industry requires a certain uh, domain because if you are working in the health healthcare industry, you should have some knowledge of health care. So Similarly, if you're an HR data analyst, you should have certain amount of experience as an HR. And if you have uh, knowledge of CRM, which is a uh, customer relationship management and CRM is uh, just not limited to Salesforce. There are Zoho CRM, there are other CRM platform as well. So that you can prefer also. So there is a domain called CRM as well. And then there are cloud platform, which are also called the domain. For example, if you want to become an AWS analyst, so you should know about the AWS platform. So there is a separate platform for AWS, which requires a fundamental knowledge of an individual. Uh, so if you don't have the knowledge how to like use that particular platform, you will not be hired as an analyst of AWS. So you must know certain kind of domain uh, if you want to get a job in the data analytics industry very quickly and not even in data analytics, even for other analytics industries as well, whether it's uh, business intelligence analysis, whether it is data science, whether it's business analyst. So there are a lot and the list uh, can go on and on. Yeah, you should have the knowledge of domain. And if you are from a software development industry, eventually you will realize you also learn these kind of cloud platforms or domains. Uh, all in all, domain is very, very crucial in your career and you should know a certain kind of domain. So the list of domain that I'm going to be telling you in this video that you can learn and that too from a very minimal price. I know there are courses that offers uh, these domain knowledge, but they are really, really costly in the industry. They generally, if they uh, tell you about the AWS or Google Analytics, they'll charge around 20K or even higher. And I've heard the courses that are like uh, charging in lakhs. So that is not worth it. And even as a Salesforce analyst, I know that learning Salesforce was not that a difficult choice for me, difficult thing for me. So I learned it uh, all by myself. But even if you want to learn from somewhere and you want to be very confident about the course. So there are courses on Udemy, which charges very less. And yes, these courses are exactly the replica of those courses that are offered even in lakhs. So you should always prefer Udemy over any other platform, over any other thing that is uh, charging in lakhs. Because obviously if we are searching for a job, we don't want to spend that much money on a course that is always charging hefty amount of money. So yeah, that was it. Let's go back to the computer screen and see what are the courses and where we can find and what are the costs that are associated with the courses. So just to begin the video, I'm going to be telling you about AWS, Google Analytics, Google Data Studio, and there are Adobe Analytics platform and then SAP, Salesforce, Azure, and cybersecurity as well. So yeah, let's go back to the computer screen and see how we can learn these. So here we are on the Udemy platform, as you can see, it's a udemy.com and there are like thousands and thousands of courses in this platform. So like we have to choose which one should be suitable for us. So if we are planning to learn AWS and which I will tell you to prepare because this is one of the uh, thing that is blooming these days and you must go ahead with this one. So even you can uh, prefer this course and this one as well. 
so the the cost of these courses you can see 499 sometimes you could see 3499 but uh, eventually after one to two days you will realize that okay the cost of this course is actually 499 that is just a their marketing gimmick that they follow but yeah do not pay this price pay only 499 to learn this one and trust me this is one of the best course that i could recommend anyone next is let's search for uh, google analytics so you will find a lot of courses for even one single domain or let's say one single uh, thing in analytics but eventually all of these are same if you see the ratings are good for uh, one course you can go and purchase that but these all courses are awesome for google analytics and you can prefer this one and next is uh, salesforce admin and salesforce development so if you are learning salesforce administration uh, if you are starting out in salesforce just go with the salesforce admin stuff and i know personally about this course there is a course uh, 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 uh. okay this, this is not reflecting in here but there is a course by manish someone and that is a an excellent course in salesforce all of these courses are good so if you're uh, following uh, thing about the salesforce administration i would prefer uh, that you should take this one because it has the ai thing as well in uh, embedded in it and this is has been updated recently so the complete cert salesforce certified administration course you should uh, prefer this one and for the salesforce development i wish to find that person uh, because the course is very good manish chaudhary see this one so this is the this is a course that is from a very basic and salesforce development has a, a lot of demand in the industry right now even if you learn just salesforce admin and salesforce development you are ready to be someone who can have a job so you can prefer this course next up is azure azure is also one of the cloud platforms and here let me show you this course this course is one of the best course easy 900 the the course is just for e, uh, the clearing the certification there's a certification az 900 that you can do so this is the course that you can prefer over here so next up we have the sap sap is also one of the things that you can learn and it has also opening for someone who is a fresher so this is the course that you can follow for sap and hana and yeah this will create you from zero to expert in the sap sap is one of the thing that is extremely uh, going up in the market and now recruiters are looking for someone who has knowledge of sap so yeah you can prefer this one and then we have the adobe analytics so it's it would be rare to find yeah there is a adobe analytics ultimate guide this course you can follow for adobe adobe is something that i have done in my previous previous company i used to create dimension i used to create workspaces in adobe and it was very good and adobe is something that has encouraged me to to pursue the analytics industry so this is why i know the adobe is very important and i still get calls for adobe analytics a uh, role but right now i'm in salesforce so yeah this was it and let's also uh, learn cyber security so this is something that is different from what we have been uh, seeing all of these were domain but cyber security is something that you can just learn and di dive deep into cyber security and make your career into the, the cyber security stream so this is also one of the technologies that you could go for and this is something very different from software development or data analytics data science business intelligence so this is something different but yes this will lead to you to a certain path that will be very crucial in your journey and yes you will be an expert in the cyber security market so yeah this was it for this video and if you have any query suggestion or doubt you can write it in the comment section below there are 1000 and 1000 courses on udemy you can choose any and start learning do not spend so much time on learning a uh, course that is that worth is uh, 1 lakh rupees and that is not going to be uh, fruitful for you just 
spend your five six hundred rupees and yes you are good to go in the market and you can search the jobs accordingly so yeah bye bye for now until we meet next time